What's good y'all, Kyle Loftus, and today we are going to talk about work-life balance. What exactly is it? Is it real? Can you achieve it as a creative entrepreneur? Without further ado, let's dive in. So what exactly is work-life balance? Work-life balance is commonly defined as a term used to describe the means by which a working individual allocates time for tasks pertaining and related to work and those pertaining to all other aspects of their life. You know, that, that term was first brought about in the late 60s, early 70s, this idea of work-life balance. And you know, at that time, pretty much everyone worked the standard nine to five. They got home from their office job at 5 p.m. and that was it, they were done with it for the day, didn't have to think about it. The world works and operates entirely differently now. We are extremely connected and integrated with technology and as a result, our work carries on with us everywhere we go. Additionally, if you're an entrepreneur like myself watching this video, you know, there is no time away from the office. Whether you're on holiday or vacation, you are still always working and operating. You need to be updating uh, your social channels. You need to be putting out marketing content. You need to be putting out ads to generate more leads. Additionally, being an entrepreneur and living in the time period we do, schedules are going to shift and change. You may have a defined routine that you stick to, but your schedule is never going to be the same. Every day is gonna vary, it's gonna alter, there are going to be things that come up, and so you can't fully adhere and build a work-life balance system off of a schedule that is constantly changing and altering. It doesn't work. Instead, what I think you really need to be focused on is what I like to call work-life integration. So what exactly is that? Work-life integration is the process of trying to find means by which you can implement and integrate your personal into your professional or vice versa. So for an example, you know, a great thing I like to do in regards to work-life integration is I love to go on trips. I love traveling. So whether it's going for a month and a half to, to explore all over Europe like I did this summer, or it's just going for a week to Joshua Tree to, to hike some mountains and watch some beautiful sunsets. I love going on these trips. And so I integrate my work life into my personal life. I'm going on these trips as a personal experience. It's for personal joy, pleasure, and fun. But I'm integrating my work life into that by you know bringing my cell phone and my iPad with me so I can still answer emails, um, hop on conference calls. And additionally, while I'm on this trip, I'm gonna be capturing photo and video content that I can use for marketing materials, general branding, um, updating the website, content that I can push out on socials. So that is just a quick short example of how you know I'm integrating my work life into my personal life. And with that being said, I'd like to discuss 10 awesome ways in which you can implement work-life integration. Tip number one, blend responsibilities. Work-life integration is the new work-life balance. Rather than trying to, to keep things separate, it's about finding a way to integrate the two. It's all about seamlessly blending responsibilities to create a day that is ideal for you. Tip number two, keep a schedule. Write down how you spend each hour of your day to gauge whether or not you're achieving proper work-life integration and being productive. By tracking what you're doing, you're gonna be able to make changes in the future to you know properly and effectively create this work-life integration. Tip number three, work with purpose in mind. Tip number four, don't try to compartmentalize. The idea that, that work and life are separate is a really old and outdated idea. It made sense when everyone worked their traditional nine to five. Now, in the digital age, everyone is carrying their devices with them everywhere they go. Work and life overlap. The best strategy is to be flexible and accept that your work and your life are going to integrate, they're gonna intersect, so why not do and conduct work-life integration and make the most of it. Tip number five, work in short bursts. Trying to break up your work day by working in short bursts can make tasks um, seem a lot more manageable and a lot more achievable. Tip number six, truly love what you do. If you find and do something that you truly love, 
work-life integration will not be a problem because what you are doing for work and what you're doing for pleasure in your personal life are things that you truly love and find fulfilling. Integrating those should be easy. Number seven, take advantage of your phone. We have cell phones. They are so interconnected and smart. They are called smartphones for a reason. Um, so use those. There are many, many apps and softwares and different things that you can utilize on your cell phone to keep you better structured, organized, and therefore better integrate your work life and your personal life. Number eight, focus on productivity, not on time spent. It doesn't matter how many hours you spend a day working, what matters is how much you accomplish by the end of the day. The same can be said about time with friends and family. Instead of focusing on how much time you spend with them, focus on the quality of time you're spending with them. Number 10, adjust your expectations. Some people expect everything to be perfect. They'll be able to get everything they need and get it done in a timely manner, still have hours left in the day for their hobbies and their passions. But if you want to achieve true work-life integration, you're going to have to understand and accept and adjust your expectations. Things are going to alter, things are gonna change, just like your schedule is always going to be changing and, and altering. Lastly, this is kind of a, a bonus, if you will, but you need to change your mindset. Again, you need to make the switch from thinking in regards to work-life balance to work-life integration. This is an entirely different way of thinking. You need to change your mindset and remember that work is a natural part of life and it shouldn't be looked down upon. It should be something that we're looking forward to. Um, so again, guys, you know, in summary, I believe work-life integration is the way to success, is the way of the future, if you will. Um, if you're not implementing it already, I highly, highly, highly recommend you do so. Um, you're gonna see a lot of changes, um, great changes, by the way. We can only control our attitude and effort so why stress over things outside of our control and trying to be perfect, you know, trying, trying to do something that we can't be perfect. We can't be perfect. Instead of that, focus on creating the most synergistic and healthy work-life integration you can. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, give her a thumbs up. Any questions or concerns? I know this work-life balance, work-life integration can be a little wishy-washy, murky. So drop a comment or question below if you got one. And we're just gonna keep the good times rolling, baby. I'll see y'all in the next one. Kyle Loftus of Cal Visuals, and I'm signing out.